All right, Florida, obviously bracing for uh, Irma. Mm -hmm. The Keys, that's the Florida Keys. They expect to get direct impacts. Billionaire Richard Branson, that gentleman on the left-hand side of your screen, he's riding out the hurricane on his private island in the Caribbean. What do we know about well, this? Well, you know, he's a bit of a daredevil adventurer at heart. He's done this three hurricanes before Irma over the last 30 years, and he's not moving. He's going to hang out there on this private island of Necker. It's uh, part of the British Virgin Islands. Uh, it's got 100 staff. Um, it's a very exclusive, so it's 80,000 a night. He's going to ride it out there. He's going to ride it out in luxury. But I was just looking at the latest maps, and I believe that Irma right now is almost on top of this island because this is about 100 miles, 115 miles east of uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico. And he's feeling the full effects now. He says the buildings are strong. They've got hurricane blinds, and I hope he's right because if the winds are up at 185, they're going to be they're going to have to be as strong as possible. But uh, he is a bit of a daredevil. He likes to ride these things out. And right. of course, what does he blame? Climate change. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Just thought I'd throw that in to make you happy. He didn't Steve. listen to Bjorn Lomborg. No, he right, didn't. That's yeah. for sure.